I'm uh, Frank Horn. Uh, I used to be a motorman on the Burnaby Lake Central Park and worked on, even on the Chilliwack line, but I'd like to take you back down memory lane. Now their brakeman's out there getting the switch to taking the hole there. Here comes the baggage cart. All lined up. He's on his way. That was the uh, most common setup. Uh, two coaches on the back with a baggage car on the head end. That was number two left in the morning. Oh, he's leaving Hall's Prairie. He's getting by uh, uh, Hunter and Anderson. This will be Anderson Station. Now, just about Hunter is where the new bypass cuts off. The, the uh, main line doesn't go through uh, Langley Prairie anymore. Turns off and uh, bypasses Langley about Hunter Station. That's Hunter coming up there. It veers off to the left of the main line now. There's Langley Station. He's coming into Langley. Now this is the, uh, the blue mail truck there. He's picking the mail up off the baggage car. And the traffic there was the, uh, that was the old Yale Roll or Road or Trans-Canada Highway at that time. Uh, these are just shots around Langley, uh, taken of all the, the, the newer buildings and to show how, what it looked like in those days, which it was a uh, growing town, Langley. There's the Brackman Kerr building. The railroad went right alongside of it. There's some more stores. Pretty modern little town for around the late 40s, early 50s. That's a Trans-Canada Highway. There's the schedule board uh, on the side of the station let you know which time, what the time the trains are due in both directions. There he goes. He's leaving Langley. By right by the Brackman Kerr, and he's going by Norris. Now this is where the bypass, the new railroad, cuts back in, and it goes right along the side of Highway 10. This is Milliner Station. It's all pretty well, perfectly flat right here, and he could uh, he could get a roll on real good. Uh, here's a picture of uh, Vic Sharman and his wife and family, and uh, they're going to take the uh, last trip. Um, they're at, they're at uh, Liverpool Road Station, uh, which is um, right at Scott Road, where Scott Road crosses the, uh, the, the Fraser Valley line now. And there's a sign there. We'll show you a close-up of it in a second, uh, stating that... Uh, the last trip on the on the Chilliwack line and the passage here on October 1st. Uh, it's sure nice to have Vic right here with us because he's filling us in on a lot of stuff here that uh, we didn't all know about. Pretty soon we're... Oh, there's the... Uh, 
train all the last trip going up to Langley and uh, or the last trip to Chilliwack and they meet at Langley all decorated up for their ceremonies for the uh, last trip. This is taken at Langley now. Uh, you'll see the train pulling into Langley for the ceremonies. He looks like he's coming f from Chilliwack. Yes. He, he has comment on there. The two trains met at Langley and then there was a ceremony with the officials and so on. Uh, the two trains touched noses and uh, uh, I was there at the time. It was rather a sad occasion, I thought. Yeah, well, I'm going to give the mic to, to Vic here just for a second while this uh, uh, ceremony is on. He'll be able to explain it to you better. Yeah, here's the train coming from Vancouver to the Langley Station. Uh, headed by one of the Connaught cars, the 1309 1011 series, and of course decorated up in the ready kilowatt. Uh, the two trains have now touched noses, and um, in that last picture, although we can't really see them, uh, is uh, uh, Mr. Grower, who was president of BC Electric at the time.